Let's be honest, the Christian life can be kind of intimidating, but we can have confidence. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today on The Devotional, coming up. Hey guys, welcome once again to the One Verse Daily Devotional. We are diving into another letter of Paul, 2 Corinthians today, and he drops just some like truth bombs on us today. So much for us to take away from these verses. We'll unpack them a little bit, but really he kind of crams the whole Bible almost into this one short verse. But not only does it educate us, it also gives us some amazing truth for our lives. Our one verse is 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. He has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. There's actually a lot that we could uncover in this verse, so I'll try and hit it quickly. Do my best. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Email me, matt at phosphorusproject.com, or comment on YouTube in the comments below. But Paul here kind of looks at the Old Testament versus the New Testament, the Old Covenant versus the New Covenant. And the Old Covenant was the law, the law of Moses, the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. And really, there was one purpose of the law, and that was to show us that we never measure up, that there's no way that we as humans can measure up to a holy God. We will always fall short, just as Paul says in Romans, that we will fall short, that we cannot come up and match and meet the standard of a perfect holy God. And that's what the purpose of the law was. There were so many laws. It was so strict. There was no way that you could perfectly do it. That's why they had the Day of Atonement and other sacrifices, because he knew no one's going to be perfect. Everyone's going to mess up. But then Jesus came, and he was the perfect sacrifice. And so now we move from the old covenant of the law to the new covenant that is life in Jesus. He says, following the letter of the law, that just leads to death. You can work and work and work and do all those religious activities and try to be the best person that you can be and be like, oh, I followed all the rules. I followed all the laws. And God's like, sorry, you still didn't measure up. But when we put our faith in Christ, the see the spirit, it's capitalized in our verse, the spirit, the Holy Spirit brings us life. The old law just reveals our sin. It shows us that we don't measure up. It actually brings death. But the new covenant, through Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection, well, it brings life. Now, I love the, the first part of our verse. He has made us competent as ministers of the new covenant. See, Paul makes it clear in actually several verses that we are all ministers of the gospel. See, a minister and a pastor is kind of different. Don't think, well, I'm not a pastor. You know, let my pastor be a minister. Let him do the ministry. And and Paul, through many of his letters, lets us know, no, 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 that's different. A pastor is a shepherd. A pastor takes care of the flock. But see, in our In our culture today, we've kind of mixed the words pastor and minister, and they're two different things. A minister is someone who carries out the ministry, and every follower of Jesus has been called to be a minister. If you're a follower of Jesus, if you consider yourself a Christian, if you put your faith and trust in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, guess what? Newsflash, you're a minister of the gospel. And he says We are ministers of this new covenant of life. That's a beautiful thing. But you might be thinking, whoa, uh, what? (laughs) Like, that scares me. That freaks me out. There's no way I can do that. But there's that one word that is critical in our one verse. It says, he has made us competent. You don't have to be worried. You don't have to be scared. You can live out the gospel. You can live that message of love that Jesus has handed down to us. You can be competent and have confidence in your role as a minister of the gospel. It simply means to love others. 
It simply means to care for others. It simply means that when the opportunity arises, you tell people about the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. You can do it. God has given you the gifts to make you competent. The old is gone. The old way, the old covenant, it just leads to death. We have the new covenant. God said he came to do a new thing and bring life. The spirit brings life. And our job is to be ministers of that new covenant, that we would share life and love with this dark and hurting world. Have a great day.